In this video, I'm going to discuss a bow thruster for bottom boats. So first off, what is a bow thruster? Basically, it's a mechanism on real boats and also used on model boats to make water flow from one side to the other near the bow of the boat, thus helping it turn. First off, let's discuss how this bow thruster works. Here we've got this boat. Normally a boat, when it turns, it turns from the back of the boat like this. Notice that the front is not turning, it's being pushed. The bow thruster causes the water to flow from one side or to the other side, and that can be done while the boat is stationary, causing the boat to move like this, or as the boat is moving, causing it to make a nice curve. Now bow thrusters for model boats come in various styles. Real boats use propellers. However, because the mechanisms get to be a little bit small, in model boats, they typically use impellers, although with a larger bow thruster, you can see a set of propellers in there. It gets a little complicated because you have to run an angle off the motor down into some sort of a drive to turn the propellers, which force the water either way. Now, the problem with this one, this is an older one. It's made by Gropner. And looking at the motor, it looks pretty bad, but actually it really works. I was surprised when I pulled it out. It was in a boat that I didn't want it to be in. I thought I was going to use it, but that's what the problem is. Trying to remove a bow thruster, they are pretty permanent in a boat. And the way this is designed, the bow thruster obviously sits down in the bow. So let's take this boat that I'm working on right now, and as you can see, there's the bow of the boat. There would be a hole through both sides, going straight through, and that bow thruster would then be mounted inside there. When it's mounted inside, it would be down in a position similar to this. Now, as you can see, the screws to mount the motor on are facing forward. And there is also a cover over this that has screws in it from the front side. So if you would need to replace that motor, you would have to break all of this free from the hull. Now I've accomplished several things here. Number one, this is mounted down inside the boat. And it's facing back. All right, let's look a little deeper into my design. Overall, we have the bow thruster housing with a flange on it, the impeller inside of it, shaft going through a stuffing box, going through universal couplings with a shaft to allow some flexibility, and the electric motor. And I will be building that up in a few moments and testing this out to see how it works. Here we see this housing. We see the impeller, which is made of two pieces and the flange. So the only thing that needs to be 3D printed are these four items. One, two, three, four. The rest is pretty much machined out of brass or purchased. So let's move down the exploded view again. We have screws that mount the flange onto the body. Then we have the stuffing box, which is basically a piece of tubing with two small pieces of tubing inside of that, soldered in place that the propeller shaft can run through. That gives us a, a void in the middle. And on this example here, I don't have it on the picture. I drilled a hole through this tube and put another section of tube so I can pack the grease down, which will actually be Vaseline that I like to use. Then over here, you see the universal coupling, a small piece of shaft, another universal coupling, and then the motor and the motor doesn't fit exactly into this universal coupling so i have this little adapter piece of tubing that is made to fit and adapt to the motor and the set screws will be tightened and everything will be assembled like so what i've got here is this is just a test plate to hold everything on test it out. I can run the water through it, see how it flows, make sure everything works fine. I haven't tried that yet. I do have an information sheet that I put together. 
and this shows the various pieces that have to be ma manufactured the tubing that makes the stuffing box the filling tube or hole and I also have a little piece of support that I added to, to this that runs out to here got all the dimensions on here the shaft that goes through and this is the shaft which I have cemented down into the impeller the impeller is, as I said is 3D printed it's two pieces of ABS and it's put together with testers liquid cement which as a solvent cement and also works with ABS and that friends and that spins pretty freely in there and I did make a neoprene gasket self-adhesive here and that'll fit between the flange and the base so we'll take a break here and proceed to assembling all of the parts together before assembling everything we'll take a quick look at this motor I have several of them and this is a Mabuchi, it's a 380, and I'll put the part number down in the description. I'll put information on universal joints. Brass tubing is available in some hardware stores and hobby shops. We're going to take the impeller and the shaft and we're going to insert that into the flange but I'm going to just put a little bit of petroleum jelly or Vaseline brand or whatever just to give it a little smooth coating and then we'll insert that in and we get a nice smooth fit here and then we want to take the neoprene gasket and I'm going to apply apply that to the back of the flange and the reason why I'm adding that to the flange is if we have to replace this assembly replace the impeller or whatever the gasket will come out with it and then we're going to add our screws and the screws that I'm going to be using Are the M2.6 by 8 millimeter four screws Next I'm going to attach the shaft to an electric drill and check that out a little bit. I've got an old syringe that I drilled the center out a little bit so we can get some grease down in here. get some grease in the syringe as I said I'm using Vaseline it's clean and works well and then we're going to put that on 
the fitting. Then if you want, you could put a little protective cap over that. Then we will install our U-joints together with our short shaft. Then if you want, you can put some flats on your shafts. Now these little saddles that I have here, the ABS saddles, 3D printed, they fit kind of snugly over the tube so I don't have to worry about putting screws down through the top little to hold it in place. And uh, looks like everything is about ready for us to apply some power on here. I'm using a 7.2 volt battery and we'll just clip that on the motor terminal and go up through. So here we go. I'm going to immerse the thruster into the water and we're going to make contact. And yes. I actually see a little whirlpool over on this side where it's sucking the water in. So we're getting some bubbles down here and we'll go down a little bit deeper and I'm actually all the way to the bottom so that is about two inches off and I can still see a whirlpool up here where it's sucking the water air down and we're pretty low so it's doing a pretty good job of pumping now the motor is getting a little bit warm and we'll just let that run for a few seconds and of course, if we reverse the terminals, we're going to reverse the direction. So now we're pushing the water from one side to the other. And it's doing a pretty good job so far. Looking good. I haven't seen any water come through the stuffing box completely dry so there we have it a success and I'm running that off with a 7.2 volts